Algae and plants are not the same. Plants are multicellular. Their cells form roots, leaves, stems and a vascular network. Algae, on the other hand, have a fundamentally different organisation of cells. They come in a more diverse variety of shapes and sizes than plants. Up until today, over 50,000 species of algae are known to humans. A well-known consortium of microalgae is phytoplankton. They form the basis of our ocean's food chain. They are also responsible for a large part of the oxygen in the water and air. The most dominant producers of oxygen in the ocean are the diatoms. Diatoms are the most species-rich group of microalgae. Their cell walls are composed of silica. Cochleophores are externally covered with calcium carbonate plate scales, which may look like pineapple wings. These algae formed and hardened over millions of years on the ocean floor to create chalk, and even formed to build the White Cliffs of Dover. Dinoflagellates are single-celled. They have two flagella, which are long hair-like structures that spin around while moving. Some dinoflagellates emit a blue fluorescent light. Cyanobacteria, or blue-green algae, are among the first known life forms to produce oxygen. Offshore petroleum and natural gas are fossil fuels. They are formed from layers of decaying algae over the course of millions of years. We rely heavily on this algae-based fuel source, which is rapidly running out. Compared to microalgae, macroalgae or multicellular seaweeds can be real giants. The largest macroalgae measure up to more than 45 meters long and grow in dense kelp forests. Did you know that some parts of sushi are also made of algae? Famous green algae, such as sea lettuce, are a healthy alternative to regular vegetables. Many green algae are unicellular. For example, different chlorella species are well known for their nutritious value and are commonly referred to as superfood. Today, algae remain the most numerous and diverse eukaryotic organisms on the planet, adapting easily to every environment, from extreme cold to blistering heat, to even the saltiest of conditions. But we cannot call all algae aquatic. Algae can also be found in the snow, our soil, hot springs, the air we breathe, caves, rocky cliffs, on trees, and even on animal fur. There is one thing they all have in common. All algae produce oxygen. They are the food staple for our marine and fresh water life. We create energy with the remains of their ancestors. They even form some of our rocky habitats and coastlines. Algae are responsible for the beginning of life on our planet and could be the key to our future survival. So next time you see some green stuff sticking to rocks or get tangled in some slimy seaweed, don't say, Ew. take a big breath of air and say, thank you, algae.